We've been talking a lot about chemical changes, and we're going to look at a chemical change today between a very common chemical that we use in our homes every day, sugar, and one that maybe we don't use as much, which is concentrated sulfuric acid. And we're going to look at a reaction that takes place between these. And it's a decomposition reaction. Basically, it's going to cause the sugar to break down, decompose into one of its base elements, which is carbon. And I'm going to let y'all help out. Lane, do you want to pour our acid for us? Sure. And let's just put our goggles on first. But I'll let you pour that in. You can pass it over to Trent. And Trent is going to stir it up a little bit. And we'll just watch the reaction that takes place. Just be very careful pouring. You can pour the whole bottle, just try not to spill it any. Don't get on the sides of right? Yeah, well, we're pouring enough, it'll be okay. It's going to kind of gel. That, that'll be good right there. All right. And it's kind of soaking in, but Trent, I'm going to let you kind of help it out a little bit to start kind of poking that down in there. And you can see it mixing. You already see a chemical change taking place, right? What, what can we already notice happening to it? Well, it's getting dark. Okay, turning very dark. And do you feel the beaker getting warmer too? Oh, it's getting warmer. Okay, well what I'm gonna do, I'll finish stirring. If you can just grab my ring stand there, we're just gonna kinda clamp this in so it doesn't fall off or anything. Sometimes they get a little off balance and they'll turn over. So we're just going to mix that in as good as we can. It's turning very dark. It's also getting hot because it is an exothermic reaction. But I think we've got it mixed pretty well there. We're gonna clamp it in. We're going to step away because there is going to be some smoke produced from this reaction and we'll just come back and take a look here in a few minutes. Okay, so it looks like our reaction's finished here. And what we have, obviously, it looks a lot different than it did. We went from our nice white powder sugar to the solid black lump of carbon. Carbon, you're right. And basically, like I say, it, it's called decomposition of sugar. The sugar's broken down into the elements that make it up. Uh, the carbon we see here, it also, the hydrogens and the oxygens from the sulfuric acid and the sugar bond together to make water. And some of that smoke that we saw coming out was actually water vapor. It actually gets hot enough that the water that's produced in the reaction is boiled. And some of it is sulfur oxide, too. And it does make it, like, like you said, the sulfur oxide gas. You're right. Really but you can see if you touch it, it's, it's still very hot. Like, you can touch it briefly, but don't, you know, don't pick it up and grab it or it will burn you. So it's a very extreme exothermic reaction that gives off two different gases, the, ox uh, the water vapor, rather, and the sulfur oxide, and leaves us with the base element carbon, which is kind of like a lump of charcoal, really. Uh, the exact same material, and you can, you can kind of feel it. It's not as warm up at the top, but you can feel it. You can see it's actually it's pretty solid. Now, it's got all these air pockets in it where the gas was escaping. That's what caused it to rise up, but we've turned it into just a solid lump here. So a nice example of a chemical change through the process of decomposition. 